Hey guys, my name is Phil and I'm here to show you the Battle Master and some of our scaling implementation that's going inside of the game right now. And as you can see, we have the Battle Master. Now the camera height is the same as it was before, but the Battle Master is about four meters shorter uh, due to uh, our scaling. We basically figured out a unit of measurement for all battle mechs from light all the way down to, or all the way up to assault. And we've made those changes. now. What I'm going to show you quickly is basically how long it takes to go 1,000 meters, one kilometer, which because we're not a first-person shooter, you can see that weapon ranges will have to be adjusted, and we'll make those changes. We've actually got some really cool ideas, and those weapon changes have not been in yet, but as you can see, um, we'll have to make some adjustments. We've got some really cool ideas that we hopefully you guys will like. Um, camera, we will be moving the camera downwards, so the Battle Master will be at sort of the bottom of your screen a little bit more. It'll give you a little bit more view and angle at the top of your screen. And obviously we have two camera systems with uh, by pressing C. We've got a zoomed in one, which I like to play in a lot actually, and we have zoomed out for a little bit more of a tactical view using long range weapons, LRMs, PPCs, lasers, and stuff like that. So more info on that, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go ahead and press W, and we're just going to go ahead and move out here. And uh, just one thing to keep in mind, uh, because we shrunk down uh, the asset, the animation isn't 100% perfect. Basically, you'll notice he sort of slides where he wasn't doing it before. Um, we do use uh, mocap, motion capture. And so knowing this, we know how to design assets in the future uh, to basically incorporate uh, uh, the changes. So the cool thing is, as we go along and create other battle mechs, and uh, infantry and tanks and stuff like that, we won't run into the same problem because we'd have already uh, resolved it in the building the asset process. So go ahead and I'm moving down here, you can see that we're almost to a thousand meters. Now imagine, you know, this is how far you'd be able to shoot um, if we used standard ranges based on uh, the units of measurement, which is, um, Implementing each one of these white and black boxes is 10 meters. So we're almost there. Almost there. And there you have it. So more to come in the not so distant future. Hopefully you guys just enjoyed this quick peek at uh, what we're working on. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming your way. Weapon, weapon ranges, weapon features. Thanks for tuning in, guys.